Okay. Plot lines. Plot lines. After reading her deceased mother's letter, a girl tries to reunite her father with his college friend. We just saw this. Mm. No. Yeah. We have seen it, but not just. Then it's not what I'm thinking it is. After reading her, her deceased, deceased mother's, mother's letter, letter, a girl tries to reunite her father with his college friend. Oh, maybe it's not what I'm thinking of. I don't remember. I don't know. Coochie, coochie, hold was, the head. I was going to say that. Idiot. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, him for more juicy content. It's so juicy, especially on Patreon. Am I right, peeps? Ooh, lick it nakedly. What? <laughs> Thanks for the support us on Patreon. To all of you beautiful Patreon babies, a tons of exclusive content over there because we True. have probably. Of thousands of things that have never hit the channel. True. It's Over probably the past it, almost four years. It's yeah. probably in the thousands Absolutely. of things that will never be on the channel. Yep. But we have reacted to. And so you're probably like, why haven't you ever reacted? We probably have. Yep. Uh, all the good ten all the good content is gone. No, it's not. But that's <laughs> not true. But all of the juiciest of the juicy yes. is on Patreon. Because Patreon spelled backwards is Nortap, which means juicy in Swahili. Did you know that? I don't believe you. Okay. Okay. But today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> of the newly released, but not new film, uh, Gali Kul Kulian. Kul yeah. Uh, but uh, apparently it also translates to In the Shadows mm. on IMDb. Yes. Uh, not to be confused with What We Do in the Shadows. True. By Taika Waititi. Hilarious right. movie, if you haven't seen that one. <laughs> uh, much more yeah. hilarious than this film. I know. Clearly, a bad remake of that film. Truly, I mean, if they were I going, didn't laugh one. If they were going for a comedy here, they <laughs> blew it. <laughs> um, it. Oh, and Johnny, yes. a, a, a daughter reads her deceased mother's uh, a letter and tries to reunite her father with her high school sweetheart. What's the movie? That's a plot line. After reading her. Okay, okay, she, yeah, that was a yeah, no yeah, brand. Yeah, yeah. She was like, oh, pff, I give that, me a hard one, I Whitey. Thought, I thought that one was pretty easy. Anyways, um, this is uh, a review of that film. It it came out apparently in 2017, but I think it was just in the festival circuit for a long time. And I I'm guessing so. they had trouble because I've been seeing Minoj post about it a yeah. lot and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it was just released on Amazon uh, to watch. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it there. Um, so... it. it I just would do, do it like a normal review that we would. So it'd be 100% sort of review. If you haven't go watch it, watch it yet, go watch it and then come back uh, before you get spoiled like a naughty, naughty little boy mm. or girl or they, them or whatever your uh, pronouns are. For all of the above. Uh, directed by Depeche John, written by Depeche John, produced by Depeche John. Uh, and apparently he was heavily involved in this film. Slightly. <laughs> And then starring our dostiest of dosts, multiple, uh, Manoj Bajpayee, Niraj Kabi, mm -hmm. both dost, and uh, Ranveer Shori is the other one as well. Uh, and then the, I guess the, the other main lead would be... Yeah, Shahana Goswami. Goswami. So once again, if you haven't watched it, go watch it, come back. Yes. Make your initial thoughts, please. Yes, by the way, this is our 70th of the year, our 277th all time. Oh, I won't get 100 this year. 40, no, we won't. 41st Hindi of this year and 170th Hindi of How all time. How many films did we watch last year? 80. Okay, we'll probably... I think hit. we're going to we'll hit right hit, around right that same the number. 80, I think. That, that was the number. Um, yeah. Um, so, I almost wrote a paragraph, but to... Uh, it's been a while, but to, to synopsize, and usually if I write a paragraph... It means that I have so much good to say about the movie, and that's the case with this. For me, I, 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 this is this is cinema. This is the difference between there's movies and then there's cinema, which enter the realms of the highest expressions of the purpose of the art form, like Avatar two exactly, through seven. Exactly, which 
Uh, you <laughs> did you not like the original Avatar? I don't think it warranted seven spinoffs, that's for sure. <laughs> I think but it did was, you like it? I think it was a fun visual film with a very basic plot. He's like a politician. He won't say yes or no. It was fine. That's it. okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, because I I liked it. A lot. I didn't think it I warranted it an entire theme park I, and seven. No, films. it did. It did. It did merit a sequel. <laughs> Not fourteen years or however long well, it was later. Anyways, go. On. Anyway, um, I I have a lot of good to say about this movie and <clears throat> virtually nothing bad. Mm. I, I I loved it. Yeah. Uh, really enjoyed this one as well. I have very little gripes about this film, uh, and I'll get into. I, once again, my gripes aren't really artistic gripes. I, I per se, I don't have a gripe. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't call it a perfect film, but it it doesn't have. It's if it's a if it was a really you know if I'm looking at a, a diamond and I'm a jeweler I'm looking at it and I'm saying yeah this is a really well cut diamond that has very few flaws. This is a really really nice diamond. But if you actually looked at a diamond, could you tell? Always. He can't tell. Idiot. He'd probably say, a, I don't even know what a fake diamond's called. Cubic uh, zirconia. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I thought this film was uh, fantastic. Yeah. I, I think I, everywhere through performances, uh, writing, uh, direction, I, th- like cinematography wise, in terms of the, the feel of the film and um, the, the color, the color correction of the film, I thought it was all really, really pretty. I could. I'm betting they were trying to. They were shopping it through festivals for a long time because they they probably really believed in the film. And Absolutely. Was, How could you not? Which is not shocking if you've seen the film uh, because it's a very well made film. Let's just start at with the, so many levels. The, the star of the film and our dostiest of dost, Manoj Bajpai. Uh, dost is that you? Yeah, he's it's, a dost. It's no, but is it dost Manoj Bajpai or Manoj Bajpai dost? I don't. Uh, Indrani would know. Grammatically, is it Manoj Bajpai Dost or Dost Manoj Bajpai? Dost Manoj Bajpai. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've already said before, I think he's one of the, the best actors alive. Agreed. Not just in India, just alive. In no, general. agreed. And this is one of his finest performances. Agreed. Um, and I would really love to talk to him again because I, I texted him after I was done finishing it and I said, did you sleep deprive yourself? Because mm. it, it genuinely looked like he was... He's immersed. And he didn't go into specifics. He just... There was an entire process. that, And I saw... I've seen him... And we didn't talk extensively. But I've seen him post that he, he said he was almost losing his mind yeah. while doing this. Not song. a surprise. I'd be really interested in how in-depth he went in this film. In yeah. terms to, to get the, the feel of the character, the look of the character, what was going on. He, he was immersed enough that I think there's a moment where he holds the phone up to his, his face to make a phone call. And his nails are long enough and unclean enough that it was either spectacular makeup, which I want to say something about the makeup in a second. But my suspicion is I could smell him through the screen. I, I have a feeling. He smell good? I have a feeling he, he, like, as much as he could without disrupting the art of other people <clears throat> he's working with, did as much immersive work that was probably... Well, I, I've read as well that for him, he nearly had a mental breakdown. And it doesn't, if you're doing this kind of a role properly, it would take a giant toll on you. And then when you're done, you'd probably be really uh, grateful it's over, but also proud of the work. Yeah. And he seems to be, as he should be. Yeah. He really should be very, very proud of the work. For he this did style here. of film, once again, it's a 100% spoiler. Please go watch it if you haven't watched it. It's worth your time. Really, That's please do. That's your non spoiler review. So please yeah. go watch it. It's on Amazon. Yeah. I think, you have, to, you, I, I think you have to rent it, though. And w- before we spoil as well, real quick things that I'll elaborate on. Uh, if When you watch it, if you if you have surround sound, that's great. If you don't and you're watching it alone, connect your AirPods so you can listen to the beautiful sound design that was done by the sound team. And when there's a moment, there's small makeup. I love small makeup. Like when The Revenant was nominated for makeup. Really small eyeliner? Yeah. I <laughs> I wanted The Revenant to win the Oscar because it was so so the most of the makeup was so small and intricate and easily missed and revenant won the oscar i took note of the beautiful makeup in this and it's not a surprise that the makeup artist is kamlish shindy if i've mispronounced that name forgive me but if you look at kamlish's resume there's a reason the makeup is so good in this movie so um, it's it's a like hollywood or just india 
everything. 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 Ghost Protocol. Oh, um, nice. And then stuff here, just and like Life of Pi. Mm. Uh, just it is a impressive yeah, resume I, that showed in some of the small detail, which especially can, in spoiler point. No, we're, which we're, we're in spoilers. We're in spoilers. Like I was just, I was just saying. Go if see you're the movie. still here and you ha- or haven't watched it, this is all spoils. But because I was going to say something, since once again, go watch it if you haven't watched it. Um, since this film is all about in the mind and what's going on, Manoj had to really go to a certain place to kind of make you feel that he was like something was going on whether he was going insane whether he was mental breakdown all of the above whatever it is right sleep deprivation you had to believe it he you couldn't just like not prepare and oh, show no. up on set this is for not this a, style of film you ca- this role can't be portrayed by someone who's not an experienced and, and well-trained actor Mm-mm. It it just you it can't be done it's too difficult a role yeah because there's so much going on behind um in the entire film, because obviously the entire, and I will talk about the entirety of the film uh, and what was happening. There's so much realized. symbolism, yeah. Yeah. Um, but he, I thought he did such a stupendous job. And he's had so many great performances. It's hard to really pick a, uh, the, the best Manoj Bajpayee performance. This, uh, Satya, obviously, is yeah. a really high up there. Phenomenal performance. His performance in Family Man, his, perform- his performance in really anything. He's like, I think if, especially in Hindi cinema, if you take like the the Mount Rushmore of the current actors, it's probably Manoj Bajpayee, Nawaz, uh, Pankaj. I mean, maybe you can have a Nasir and Nasir, Shah. Nasir, of I'll course, be in there. Um, but it's it's those male actors that really just if if they're in it, you're like this is yeah, well, this and is going to be elevated. Same with Niraj, amazing. who's supporting in this. Niraj oh. is that caliber of actor. Niraj, <laughs> yeah. Um, Once again, our dost. Yeah. Uh, dostiest of dosts. Um, but he was, he's always so good, right? He And I think he has, have you read his book? Or you, you, I've not. I almost registered for one of his classes because he, right, he has a class that he teaches. And I know he has a really unique approach approach very on, on acting very and, interesting which is so f- fun and interesting to listen to different actors and their approach because none of it's right none of it's wrong it's all whatever works for you exactly if it gets, if it gets you there it's the right process exactly as long as it's not, you know hurting other people or exactly <laughs> their performances as well no and a good uh, acting coach will tell you that a good acting coach will tell you that uh, this may not be the place for you because this may not be the process that works well for you mm-hmm. and 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 that's why i love talking to actors so much is because not everybody's process is the same and it's not always the same necessarily with each role i mean there will be some foundations but there'll be some alterations as well well like well, we've talked to uh our dos Raj kumar he's like sometimes you know there's lots of preparation sometimes right. i just show up on set some, exactly the, the role the roles don't always require me to do that much exactly like extreme but this, prep this does this is extraordinarily requiring I, I I would say um, this is probably my favorite of his but that's hard to say his in the same way yeah um, because of how how Hercule this is a really difficult part um, and what makes it so difficult is how subtle the difficulty is yeah for sure uh, he makes it look easy, and there'd probably be a lot of people who aren't familiar with acting process or technique and training who would see this and think he, he just he was doing a good job and looked natural, and that's what was so hard. Um, but in, in the same way that, for example, when I think about my favorite Daniel Day Lewis roles, my not one. one of them is better than the other. Gandhi's better than all the other ones, right? But <laughs> my f- personal favorite is Bill the Butcher. Same. I. I love him. I love him as Chrissy in, in in My Left Foot. Yeah. I love him as Lincoln. I love him as Daniel Plainview. And the list goes on. Same thing with Merrill. I have a ton of Merrills. Sophie's Choice is kind of my favorite. And this may become, over the time of watching his films, this may become my, my favorite. Yeah, I would have no doubt doubt it's easily up there for me there's just so many that he is it's like picking your favorite noise or it's, yeah it's just well, you're any, getting gems yeah just you know and they're which, all so different and it's hard to pick which rolex do you like yeah they're all rolexes i like them all yeah uh well rolexes <laughs> i don't give a shit about <laughs> apple watches though yeah i don't have one uh, um <laughs> anyway but niraj as well yeah um he's always so good right but he he brings such a 
he can be so intense and so intimidating like in this role at, at times but then you know in ship of thesis or whatever mm. it's called he's like this meek mild little man sure and like he he can transform himself and his body and his mind and how he's looking but then he can also be this intimidating but another thing i loved about his performance in this was the, he wasn't totally vilified obviously he was vilified. which is a credit to the great yeah. the great writing in this movie he obviously he was vilified and he was not saying he was a good guy but the, like certain times you would just show him like he would be a dick and he'd be hitting his son or he'd be yelling at his wife or and then the next scene murder trying to murder his son or whatever but then like you'd show him like tenderly hugging his wife and like of course Obviously, I think he's a terrible person, but then they don't just show the terrible sides, and I think that's a testament to the writing. It's and a great writing. Um, Niraj's performance yep. of these this fleshing out a full character as opposed to just making a villain. Exactly. Um, making it like real he human has beings. His endearing moments, even though he's just he's basically just an ass and just a just an awful person, <laughs> but. He has his moments. He apologizes to his son. He's like, and you think, I don't know, man. Are you actually sincere? I don't know what's going on. And, mm -hmm. you, and you don't know where it's going. But I like that they fleshed out his character. Me too. Just as opposed to being an asshole dad. Absolutely. The, the writing. And he did such a great job. The, 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 the writing in this, and we'll talk more about the acting as well. But since we brought up the writing, uh, you'll hear us talk about poor writing, which is most exemplified with exposition in the first few minutes where they're telling you something versus showing you. And if you want to see good writing that doesn't do l just weak exposition, what in the first 10 minutes of this thing, you're immediately educated as to what's going on without being told. It's just and and throughout the and I'm so it's obvious that the writing and the directing are the same person with this because the script like the direction is extremely lean. And that's a that's a compliment. Yeah. There's there's no fat on this script at no. all or this film. It's the exact right runtime. The pacing is a credit to the editing with along with I'm sure the director choices of what and when to edit, <laughs> as, along with sound design and scoring. I thought the score yeah, was score fantastic. Was really Just everything. <laughs> the whole creative team feels like it was a unified whole in what they wanted to convey, and I thought all acting. I even put a note in here when he goes to the doctor to you know find out what's going on with him whoever played the doctor in that scene uh, that was a beautiful scene with those three mm -hmm. i believed every single moment between all three of those people yeah. that we were watching what was happening and the makeup the the beauty of that cut on the hand and the stitching of it and then when he took the bandage off a few days later and it had that raised white soft skin on it I can't jump up and down enough for how good the makeup is on that hand. Um, as was just a scratch on the head, just pretty consistent makeup wise yeah. throughout. Yeah, I, I thousand percent agree. That cut was ugh. it was beautiful. Was it looks so real, and it's so symbolic. I mean, I, well, we can spend some time talking about the symbolism yeah. in a minute, but let's also talk about Ranvia, sure. but the, the the two other mains: the mom and the boy. Yeah, the mom, well, and also Renvier Shorey. Yeah, and Renvier Shorey. Yeah, we've he's seen did a great in, job. In many things. Yes. Uh, I thought he uh, did a, a really, really good job. Yep. Uh, I liked his chemistry. I liked his character. And they didn't really explain their relationship no. a whole lot. You kind of just assumed what it was, a testament to the writing again. Yeah. Of just, it's just you know, they've known each other a long time. They but didn't give us exposition of their backstory. Nah. But we, you kind of just, they're like, you're going to kind of get what this relationship exactly. is. Exactly. You're going you're gonna to know what you need to know. And I, I like their chemistry together. Me too. A lot. But the, yeah, the uh, the kid, uh, I thought did uh, this uh, this director uh, and uh, casting director Dilip uh, Shankar. Yes. Uh, fantastic job at finding this kid. Yep. Um, but also this director must be just really good at directing it, uh, finding good actors. One wanting to work with good actors. Yeah. Um, Clearly. And knowing how to direct them. Clearly. But, I don't. I think he had an easy job in this one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Renvier Shorey, Kabi, and uh, Manoj Bajpayee just kind of sit back and let them do their thing. Um, but it's uh, once again, I, I think it, at least a testament to him in the casting of getting these good actors for the for this film. Yes, and just focusing on artists and good storytelling. Yes, uh, and as opposed to 
you know, I'm, I I don't even know if this went into a theatrical release or, or anything like that. Yeah, he I don't just know. wanted to make a film. He's like, if people see it, hopefully they do. Yeah. And with all of those people there, I'm sure there was a lot of encouragement from Manoj and Niraj. And, uh, but that, he, the, the, a lot of the film depends on that young man. And he clearly either instinctively knows this or was trained or both to know acting's not about performing, it's not about presenting, it's not about indicating, it's about being real, being in the given moment, about creating the circumstances that lead into the scene you're portraying so that it doesn't feel like a scene begins, but that we've come into something yeah. really happening. Um, I, I just, I felt he was engaged, and it says a lot in a film that has heavyweights like Niraj Kabi and Manoj Bajpayee for him to hold his own mm -hmm. with as much screen time, if not more, yeah. than than them. And then Shahana Goswami. Phenomenal. I, I just... I, the acting was fantastic. Yeah, she did an absolutely great job. That this, The scene... Oh, it was, it was really yeah. heartbreaking when she was giving birth. Yep. And then she asked to bring that kid over because she had to take care of her other baby. Right. And my wife was watching. And Kim was like, "Can you imagine?" <laughs> I know, but that would be instinctively what you're doing. Your you you your your thoughts would be on both both babies. And then the fact that she basically couldn't even mourn, right? Her her, her baby who she uh, that she lost mm -hmm. um, because of everything else that was going on. I thought she did a phenomenal. Her her performance was really great. Agreed. Uh, loved her performance. Um, my only gripe with the film, and it's not really that big of a gripe, I thought it was a little predictable. Really? Did you not pick up in the first 10 minutes that the boy was uh, Manoj? Oh, I, I don't think that was predictable. Yeah. But I, if the goal, and only, only our director, writer, could tell you this, mm -hmm. if the goal was for us to be clueless until he wiped the dust off, mm -hmm. they failed. Yeah. Because I knew I didn't, I didn't know if that's what was intended or not. I I don't know that it is. I it felt I like it it's written yeah. that the audience. I think the audience could could figure it out in the first five minutes. I think the audience could walk away and never know. That's that'd be difficult because no the end. <laughs> <laughs> it could still gotcha. There could still because I've seen what's the meaning of the ending. That's like what's there's an article. What's the meaning of the ending of this film? Right. And the meaning, exactly. The meaning of the ending of this film is pretty. <laughs> there's only one thing about this that's left open to interpretation, but I think it's pretty heavily leaning in one direction, and that is what happens to Manoj's character Manoj's in the end. Character, yeah. I, I have a very strong. I mean, he I mean, got out. Uh, you, you, he, you think he got out of the maze? Yeah. Yeah. You do. I, that was, that's what I am, because obviously. The the Renvier, uh, am I saying his name correct? Because it's not spelled the same as Renvier, and I don't. I want to make sure I'm not saying his name. Is it Renvier? I think it would be. It's still Renvier. It's just, Renvier. A, it's just okay. an alternate just spelling. Um, obviously, a couple scenes before he says, uh, "I don't believe you'll ever get out of here." Correct. Right. Um, so, so I I think it was implied that he did that um, to me, and they did that expanded. Away, which was great. Obviously, I don't know if this is like a right a slum or what this is. Right. See, I think. Um, what do you think happened? Oh, I, I think it's the opposite. You think he died? Killed I think himself? he. I think he killed himself. Well, where is he though? It's very possible he killed himself, but he still got out somehow because he's not in that house. I think that's the out. What you think he's floating? No, I th as if the spirit is ascending away. Ah, I think okay. that's his. Own, and here's why I think he he's dead. I thought that was just showing the expansiveness of no, the No, I, I, I think it was showing the unending, inevitable hopelessness of the maze mm. in the midst yeah, I see that. of so many people wishing they could change the cycle, but that cycle Continue. is as permanent as the buildings. And, be, it, and the reason I feel that it's that way, that coin was his hope his whole life his mom had said this coin was just worth pennies but over years it became very valuable which means even something that was only worth pennies can be worth rupees someday and he was holding on to that in the hope that his life could someday result in that that all the things he was hoping for could result in that that maybe he could get his mom out and their little penny life could become something worth rupees yeah 
but he puts the coin <clears throat> down under the picture of his family and leaves it. And for me, that represented yeah. he's given up hope. Yeah. I can see that because I, I, I thought uh, at that as well. I didn't know if it was going to be implied that he was – if he left, which was mm. what the what I came away with it as. But uh, I didn't uh, pick up on the the coin being left as, as well. So it's very but possible did, that, that that's the interpretation did that you, is correct. Did you also notice there was um, very um, – every once in a while there were rustling of things just very gently. There was like the rustling of the pages of the book. There was rustling of the edges of the sheets. Every once in a while, there was something particularly caught cinematically for just a moment that gave you a sense of wind blowing on something in mm -hmm. the midst of this very stifling, which again, I think was that even in the midst of all this, there's still, if you look for them, it's, a, it's these mixed signals of there's hope, but even in the face of hope, you can feel hopeless because it's not enough hope. Mm -hmm. It's just the symbolism was out the wazoo. Even, even the cut on his hand is representative of the fact that he's hurt which our character, Manoj, definitely is a hurt man. But he's hurt and doesn't even know how he got hurt or what hurt him. He just knows he's hurt and he's trying to self-care for himself. And I, I love the fact that it's such a wonderful psychological thing of he's really trying to save himself. He's trying to save that inner child, child that yeah. was wounded yeah. but the wound is festering and he he can't seem to get at it yep. so aside from just the physicality of being the poor guy and dealing with what he's doing in, in the reality of just the physical space Manoj had to get into the psychology of a man truly imprisoned by his own hurts and wanting to save himself and not even knowing he's doing it on the edge of losing his mind yeah so I monumentally hard role. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's very few people yeah. that I can feel could have done this role. No, as, very, as well of justice very few. As, as, as uh, Manoj and a couple of them were probably in this movie uh, with him. Yeah. Uh, so, um, overall, I thought it was a absolutely fantastic film. Um, I think I gave it four out of five stars, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of my favorites of the year. Yeah. Um, it would it we're getting close to the awards. He, the awards of what we'd say are the the bests, but this has so many good. This has the, the writing is exceptional. Again, makeup and score, uh, but the you know, the big one is for sure. And a phenomenal song number by Minaj. Yeah, which was really strange in the midst of all of that to, to to go into that the uh, I'm not my son, which was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just over and over, I'm not my son. And then, then, then the, 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 the ones that the parents were cheating with come in and dance and sing with them, almost like they're having a foursome. It's really yeah. strange. If you missed that part, it's in, say, at the end of the credits. It's at the very end of the credits. End credit scene in this yeah. one. Fits really well. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> let us know what you thought about this film. Uh, did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you an idiot? Yes, you are. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what should be our next Manoj Bajpai film that we should watch? Let us know down below.